the first new piece he has offered at a fair in more than 15 years. And this is what you give us? 15 years? A banana on a wall? Maurizio, I feel as if you're not taking this seriously. I love it. It is brilliant. Look at this. Oh, a yellow banana. This is awesome. This is the best thing I've seen. Welcome back, Maurizio. What do you think? I think it's marvelous. <laughs> Come get bananas with me. Banana. Hey team, have you all seen this? Check it out. Yeah! This here's a banana taped to, oh, duct tape to a wall. And it's not even a very nice looking banana. But luckily, as the uh, art newspaper reports, like the gallery says, uh, the fruit itself uh, was locally sourced. Well, thank God for that. Uh, so this is a locally sourced banana. Ooh, this, this picture looks like it's a bit newer than that one. That one looks a bit older. But that's okay, guys. I mean, it's locally sourced, so it's all good. Now, the thing is about this, um, before it was duct taped to the wall, it was 20 cents. After it was duct taped to the wall, $120,000, man. It's a whole lot of bananas. Let's do the math, shall we? Let's see. Banana price. Let's see, banana price. Woo, 19 cents. 19 cents for a banana. Okay, now let's go see how much, how many bananas we can get for $150,000. 150000 dollars divided by 0.19, which is 19 cents, equals, oh, look at that. I could buy 789,000 bananas, uh, 789,473 bananas and 60.68 so I can get that much more of it to hang on walls. Man, you guys, I can give you a discount. I will only charge you $100,000 for a banana. I know. You, you, you could save. The third one's going to cost you more. Listen, I'm going to get you a locally sourced Texas banana, which stands for freedom. Come on, Ferdy. And it's only going to cost you, it won't even cost you, see, I'll, I'll, I'll send this shipping for free, all right? You pick whatever wall you want it on. Just make the check payable to this guy, Studio 214. Also, um, anytime you want a new one, I'm going to send it to you, but you have to pay shipping and handling. Yes, let me tell you guys, the art world is bananas, and I got to split. But seriously, this is this is this is insanity. Um, it, oh, you know who made it? This guy. We've seen him before. He's the guy with the golden toilet. Go ahead and check that card over yonder and uh, read about that. It recently got stolen. Well, good old Maurizio uh, Catalan, Catalan, Maurizio. This guy. He is the artist of the golden toilet, amongst other things. And oh, apparently, guys, check this one out over here. The maverick Italian artist Maurizio Catalan is showing a new sculpture at Art Basel Miami Beach. I think it's in Miami. The first new piece he has offered at a fair in more than 15 years. And this is what you give us? 15 years? A banana on a wall? Maurizio, I feel as if you're not taking this seriously. Which may, gives me a little bit of respect for you. I would like to tape a banana to a wall. I guess I'm just jealous. I really am jealous. I... I throw tantrums and things get flung on the wall and I don't get paid $120,000 for them. In fact, I have to clean them up. And that's not even what Marizo has to do. Check this out. Some dude came up to that there banana and did this. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? $120,000 banana. I dare you to eat it. You won't do it. Uh, he did it! What? He ate the banana off the wall. You don't know who put that there. Well, actually, yeah, we do.
some dude. But what if I'm not in the habit of going up to random walls and eating fruit hung there on duct tape? I don't care if it's performance art or not. This guy apparently is. <laughs> so let's just get out of there. Exit out. All right. Ooh. And uh, let's. Here's the thing, though. Um, interested collectors, if you have $150,000 at your. <laughs> mind, this, this, this is piece two. Apparently, there's a first one. And now there's going to be, be a third one. Uh, uh, but that third one going to cost you more. The second piece costs $120,000. The art, uh, the, the, the studio raised the price to $150,000. Uh, so you can have your own fruit duct tape to a wall. Um, interested collectors should note, by the way, that there are no precise instructions for the work's long-term care. All you got to do is get some dude up there and he will, uh, yeah, I, I, what is his name? David Detuna. Have him come on down. He'll get a snack. Everything's taken care of. Now, the thing is, is that uh, as the as Fox News reports, it is it's not um, stupid. You're so stupid. Well, all right. It's it's not so much the uh, the banana. It's the the certificate of 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 authenticity. It's a it's it's certified art. Collectors have been buying the certificate of the art. Says. The banana is not made to last. So some dude is just getting, they're paying $120,000 for a certificate. That they can just go up and take more, they can just place near the wall and, and put in new tape and new, a new banana up whenever that one goes bad. Or some dude comes up and eats it. Um, yes, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Stupid! Yes. The New York Post has it correct. Art world gone mad. This duct tape fruit sold for $120,000. Beyond that, that it could sell at all is insane. I don't care. I mean, it could be Leonardo da Vinci's trash on the wall. And I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't spend it. Well, maybe Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, fine. Maybe that. But that's different, isn't it now? Not some new fandangled Italian dude with good-looking hair and a strong gin and a beak or Roman nose. <laughs> Look at you. You look like Sam Eagle, but you're Italian. Anyway, what do y'all think? Is this insane? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Man, this story is bananas. Man, this story, this, man, this banana story, it's not very appealing. Man, this banana story. It's a slippery slope. Ugh. I don't know why I'm trying. It's not even trying.